Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We begin here at 6 o'clock with an update on last night's deadly plane crash in Van Zandt County. Late this afternoon, authorities identified the pilot and the sole occupant of this plane as 60-year-old Robert Turner of Edgewood. This plane crashed around 6 o'clock last night near the Tailwind Air Park just outside Canton in Van Zandt County. KLTV 7's Avery Niles has been at the crash scene all day long and has the latest now on the investigation into how this deadly crash happened. It, would, it was tragic to the neighborhood. Around 6 p.m., a call came in to Van Zandt County Dispatch alleging a plane had crashed into a home at the Tailwind Air Park in Edgewood. Adam Albritton, a DPS spokesperson, says a trooper along with other law enforcement and emergency services were dispatched to the area. We did receive some information that the pilot could have been coming from the Addison area and wanting to land here at the Tailwinds Airport and could possibly have missed his, his landing here. Turner was pulled out of the plane by emergency services and taken to the hospital where he later died of his injuries. No one was home at the time of the crash. Bob Hall has been living at Tailwind for the last 12 years and says there hasn't been an incident like this before. I had a good friend of mine that lives down in Edom who's with emergency services called and said, I just got a call for an airplane crash at Tailwind Air Park. Uh, do you know anything about it? And I said, no, I haven't heard a thing here. Got in the car and came over here. And, uh, of course, by that time, emergency services were here. He says Turner and his family recently moved into the air park. Regardless of that, he says this neighborhood is a tight-knit group with almost all of its residents being pilots themselves. It is a very close, close neighborhood uh, with a common interest to here that uh, draws people together. And this is a very, very sad, sad occasion that uh, this would happen to, uh, to one of our own, even though they're fairly new, just moving in. Avery Niles, KLTV 7 News. And the investigation has now been handed over to the FAA and the NTSB. The home itself was clipped in the crash and had only minor damage. We're told no one was at the house at the time of the crash.